So it's a beautiful day here. The sun is out. Uh, it's very nice. So yesterday I did my normal kind of running around looking at electronic recycle places. Typical Saturday. A couple of videos back I posted an unboxing video with a little PCXT motherboard kit. Uh, had mentioned in that video I needed a PCXT keyboard and guess what I picked up yesterday. So take a peek at the back here and on the back is the jumpers for AT or XT mode. That is the keyboard I need to get that motherboard build going and done. I also came across the fully boxed version of DOS 4.0. Not that DOS 4.0 was a great DOS, but it's got the five and a quarter inch media, which will be perfect for booting in this old machine. And it's a complete package. The media is in there. It came across an actual XT power supply. It's got the right power connectors for the motherboard. Uh, hopefully, it's good. It was very dusty. You know, I'll get it fired up and make sure it's good. Found a few ISA cards. There's an 8-bit uh, a card with two UARTs on it. They're 8250, so they're non-FIFO version. Uh, 16550 UARTs are a much better UART. I believe it's a 16-byte FIFO on them. You don't get as many overruns as you will with this card. Found a VGA card. It's for 16-bit bus, but some of these will actually work in an 8-bit bus. So it'll just be a matter of trying it and see if it'll go. Found a second ISA card. Same thing. 8-bit, uh, 16-bit bus, bus, don't know. Uh, picked this card up, Surplus, yesterday as well. It's an IDE floppy serial port etc. card. It may work in an 8-bit bus, it may not. So those four cards, the power supply, the DOS 4.0, and the keyboard, I paid less than $20 for all of it yesterday at the surplus place. And that got me thinking about stuff in my junk box. And in my junk box, I actually found this VGA card. And I remember this one actually works in an 8-bit bus, uh, which is part of why the second edge connector's got electrical tape over it. Uh, I remember it was touching a component on a motherboard at one time when it was used. There's an old Sound Blaster card here. I don't really remember which one it is. Uh, it doesn't say Sound Blaster 16 or uh, 32 or whatever on it. Don't really remember. And another little floppy controller that I think I've also tested at some point on an 8-bit bus and it worked. So there's essentially the components I need to try to get that motherboard together. At some point we'll start a build video and go through the build. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed a look and get an idea of the things you can find at your electronics surplus place if they'll let you dig a bit. Thank you.